morning on the way here, we were doing our highly scientific calculations, and we determined that Trucks Gone Wild's been coming to Louisiana Mudfest for some time between 9 and 13 years. It's kind of hard to keep track after a while. This is what we're concerned about this weekend, the weather. Everybody's talking about it because in about two or three hours from now, they're predicting the sky is just going to like fall on the place. But listen, we're in the south, we're at a mud event, more specifically, we're in Louisiana. These people don't care. They're here to party. So again, in the world of live entertainment, is it going to be a, a great weekend? Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Who knows? But as you can see, they're coming in left and right right now. It's all good. Anybody that knows me knows one thing, and that's that I love two things. And that's bounty holes and cold beer. And out here at Louisiana Mudfest, we've got both of them. Damn, that was cool.
you get about, I don't know, two or three inches of rain overnight in Louisiana where the ground is already slippery. But you know what? We're not going to have any dust issues today. We got that going for us. Self-regulating mud hole traffic at its best. It's like somebody kicked the anthill out here. As far as you can see, I love it. There are so many worse ways to be spending the weekend. Right here, trucks going wild at Louisiana Mud Fest. Hey, what do they call this place? What? What's the name of this place? Louisiana Mud Fest. Call back Louisiana. What time is it? Uh, drinking time. <laughs> Damn, she just did that with a meal. Johnson, Randy Palmer, and Adam Wemple came up with this whole concept, this King of the Pit concept, for last year. And it went great. Uh, some things happened with the weather. They had to move locations. So we're back here kind of in the back corner of the property, and they're trying to figure everything out. When you're at Louisiana Mud Fest and you need things to happen, Terry Curl and his crew, the Curl family, those are the guys to call in. Props to all these guys. If you've never been in a situation where you had to put on an event like this, i got to tell you, weather is the one thing that you can't control it. You don't know what it's going to do. And you just never know. All you can do is react to it, and that's what they're doing out here this afternoon. So, mud looks great. This is going to be a like a shred fest out here. The other pit was swallowing. I mean, basically, tires this tall were disappearing. So, you don't want that. And we take a look at the the ground. You know, I mean, it's pretty nasty here. <laughs>
on TGW Live. You guys were chiming in, letting us know that we had a crew coming over from Wyoming to Louisiana Mud Fest. It's great to have you guys out here. Yeah, appreciate Hope it. Hope you're having fun. You know, last yeah. night, y'all were here. I mean, we got about eight inches of rain last yeah. night, dude. Yeah. Well, we measure crazy. rain in Wyoming yeah. between the drops. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Is that, you yeah. don't get much? We don't get much. Oh, no. So it's between the drops. Yeah, right. We make our own. That's, that's not eight inches yeah. in Wyoming? Yeah. Right, I'm still I'm working on the math. Maybe yeah. that's metric or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling Canadian. But yeah. listen, guys, it's great to have you. I think you get the long distance award this weekend for sure for bringing yeah. a truck. Yeah. We're not in Wyoming. Are there a bunch of trucks like this? No. no. Six of us, seven of us. Really? No. That's it. And you guys are the ones that hit the road. Yeah. So why? Just. Because yeah, I wanted to meet you guys nice for once. Nice, dude. Yeah. Listen, that's awesome. I've watched I watched you guys that. since I was 11, 12 years old. You're like 15 now, so you've been watching for <laughs> years. Dude. Close, yeah. yeah. Size-wise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is this 15? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's definitely 15. Definitely. Again with these Wyoming measurements, I'm yeah, so yeah. confused. But no places like this out no. there. No, no we make our own. own. Yeah. I mean, we got water trucks hauling in water to make our own. Do you think that like this is the scene gonna happen out there out west? I mean, I know a couple. There's well, probably like 12 trucks west of the Mississippi. I think River if we like could bring maybe one day bring you guys along and out that direction, right? We might we be able to bring something yeah. big that way. Long story short, you're out here to complete or compete in the King of the Pit. Yeah, yep. right. Kind of find out where you stack up against it. Everybody Just to have guys, fun. So we'll see. Yeah. coming out here longer than we have, right? Always tearing it up. Today, I got some hardware for you, dude. Judges awarded you second place on the day, so congratulations on that. Appreciate it. Add that to the collection and all that, right? Yep. Now, you got a lot going on. You want me to hold that for you? No, I got you it. okay? I got you it. You look good. So what happened out there? Big jump, probably the biggest jump we saw anybody hit. Was it just a shot I, mount no, or something? No, shot mount ripped out the, out the hoop. Did you fix that already? Or? Fixing to go work on it. Yeah, and then what? If we can get it fixed and stood back up, we're going to run the rest of the day. I'll bet you can. On a stiff leg, we're going to run it. Think about old and crusty. What do you think about? No, 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 not that. I'm talking about the trucks going wild merchandise trailer. Look at the vinyl. It's about 10 years old, still hauling on. We don't replace the vinyl, so we can pass the savings on to you. So the next time you're out at a trucks going wild event, be sure to look for the oldest, ugliest, most beat to hell trailer. That's where you'll find us, and that's where you're gonna find the shirts, the hats, the hoodies, the stickers, everything. It's all about the trucks going wild merchandise. Oh, I think I just broke the trailer.
sponsor and dude, King of the Pit, Dos. Number happen. one? Yeah. No, me. Yeah. Did I get no. number one? No, what, what do you think you placed? I'm going to go with number one through three. One through three. Good. You can narrow it down. Can I land there? You, my friend, as a, you are in the top five, dude. That's Congratulations. a good thing. Third place. All right, man. They got you. I don't know who did the judging. Rest assured, I had nothing to do with it. Dude, I'll sell the people, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> you got some hardware, though, to take back up north. Dude. Yes, sir. So you went back out after it was done. Yes. And ripped that thing to shreds. Yeah, we grenaded the front and uh, the input shafts and the transmission. So. Yeah, but uh, how much fun was that? That was a lot of fun because my buddy was driving. Nice. <laughs> All the better. <laughs> Take a look at this, brother. 2021 King of the Pit, Louisiana Mudfest. This thing's got to weigh about 40 pounds, brother. I'm going to hand it over to you. Andrew Waring Bodacious, dude. That's two years in a row, brother. Kick their asses again. Congratulations, dude. Yeah, mainly like Adam. That was the main one. <laughs> yeah. Adam, you, bud. Send yeah. him home quiet. Right. Right. Well, I'm, I'm he's never going to be quiet. No. He's quieter. Okay. Yeah. you imagine if I handed this to him? We always know when, when the Bodacious truck shows up with you, we're like, we're going to see something cool. Oh, yeah. So, oh. It's fun, man. Thanks for being a part of the action. Yes, sir. No All right, brother. Take a look. I'm gonna hand right, this. Let's check this out. Boy. You guys ready? Oh man, that thing's heavy. Yeah, dude. That's like that's like hey, working out. Yeah. Just, oh, get bigger axles on the trailer and all this, huh? <laughs> Unsupervised right there, the official dinner sponsor on Saturday night for Trucks Going Wild out here at Louisiana Woo! Mud Fest. That stuff was delicious, my brother. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. It was your first time out here at a Trucks Going Wild event. I hope y'all loved it. I loved it. You're a Marine? Yes, sir. I love Oorah. that. Thank you for your service. Right, thank you. It's all good, brother. I enjoyed it. Let's do this again sometime, my man. Simple five. Dude. Arrow. Unsupervised. Ooh, yeah. Push in. So Why you twist? You Pull that back out, alright? Nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Alright. All right. Then, the then, then you can crack them if you want. You crack. Pull your first little piece off. That way you can have something to bite on if you want. And now I can eat the spark. Yes. Yeah. Now let me explain something to you, which will really piss you off. <laughs> that was great. In between you that tail like is a black line. It's but it's good. But let me explain something. Some people do some people don't. It's oil. It, it's clean. Gotcha. It's oil. Sterile. Sterile. It's right here. Hold on. Yeah. Hold it yeah. straight. Yeah. Hold it straight. Hold it straight. Push in. Push in. Turn. Push in. Turn. You pull it out and it gets rid of that first wrap right there. You put it in your mouth. It was it has been an awesome weekend out here at Louisiana Mud Fest. The trucks are badass, the weather is beautiful, and the crowd is massive. But you know what you need to do. Like, subscribe, and smash that button. It's all good. We'll see you next time right here. Trucks Gone Wild, Louisiana Mud Fest. Peace.